Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 5 under the topic Designing a lag lead compensator using Bode plot. The problem is consider the unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is Design a lag lead compensator to meet the following specifications. First one velocity error constant kv is equal to 80 and phase margin is greater than or equal to 35 degrees. So here the open loop transfer function is given and the type of feedback is unity feedback. Here velocity error constant is given with the help of this velocity error constant we have to find the value of this k. And next we have to design a lag lead compensator to make the phase margin of the system greater than or equal to 35 degrees right and step one is find k so for the unity feedback system the velocity error constant is given by this formula right limit s tends to 0 s into g of s g of s is the given transfer function here so just substitute it and when you substitute the value of s equal to 0 finally we are getting the value of k as 1440 right then just substitute this value in the transfer function. So here g of s is equal to 1440 divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 6. Then we are converting this transfer function into standard form. That is from this expression we are taking 3 outside and from this expression we are taking 6 outside. Right. So when you take the uh, numbers outside and when you cancel finally our transfer function gets reduced like this 80 by s into 1 plus j 0.33 omega and here 1 plus j 0.167 omega right here it is j omega g of j omega we are having a transfer function like this and step 2 is to draw the Bode plot of uncompensated system so this is the transfer function and the first step is we have to replace s by j omega. Then for magnitude plot, we have to find the corner frequencies. So when you take reciprocal of the number which is present along with s, gives the corner frequency, right? So 1 divided by 0.33 gives one corner frequency and 1 divided by 0.167 gives you another corner frequency, right? So here 1 is 3 and another 1 is 6. So the least value should be given omega c1 and the next higher value omega c2. In the next step is we are framing a table. Our table has 4 columns. Term, corner frequency, slope and change in slope. So here regarding term, the first term is constant divided by constant with individual s okay here we are having 80 and omega lies in denominator so 80 by j omega occupies the first place here so first write down the term and the next terms are arranged in the ascending order of corner frequencies here the first corner frequency is 3 right so which term contributes 3 this 0.33 terms contribute this 3 so 1 divided by 1 plus 0.33 j omega occupies the second place and finally the uh, term which contributes a corner frequency of 6 occupies the next place so this omega in the denominator contributes a slope of minus 20 so here also omega is in denominator and here also it is in denominator and here also so the slope is minus 20 in all the three cases then to find the change in slope we have to move this minus 20 downwards and we have to shift this minus 20 to the right hand side so here minus 20 minus 20 gives minus 40 and again the next step we have to move this minus 40 downwards and we have to move this minus 20 to the right hand side so minus 40 minus 20 gives minus 60 right then we are going to choose two frequencies in such a way that omega L is less than omega C1 and omega H is greater than omega C2. So here I have chosen omega L as 0.5 and omega H as 20. Okay, no need. It should be a 0.5. It can it may be 1 also, right? That is it should be less than omega C1. Here omega C1 value is 3. You can select any value which is less than 3. And similarly here the omega c2 is 6. Here for omega h even you can take 50, 100 or uh, 500 whatever maybe. Okay everything is correct. So the next step is 
here we have to find the respective magnitude value for these four different frequencies so at omega equal to omega l here the value is 20 log of constant with individual omega so here constant is 80 and omega lies in denominator since we need magnitude in db we had included 20 log right so when you substitute the values here the omega l is 0.5 so when you substitute the value is 44 db and next at omega equal to omega c1 again you have to use the same formula here so here the value of omega c1 is 3 so just substitute it and find the value of magnitude so for omega equal to omega c2 the formula is change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log of omega c2 by omega c1 plus the value of a when omega equal to omega c1 so what is the change of slope when you look back at the table so this is your omega c1 and this is your omega c2 right so what is the change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 it is 40 sorry it is minus 40 so minus 40 into log of omega c2 is 6 and omega c1 is 3 and the previous value when omega equal to omega c1 is 28 right so just substitute here the answer is 16 decibel and when omega equal to omega h again the formula is change of slope from omega c2 to omega h into log of omega h by omega c2 plus the previous value here right so just substitute it accordingly and write down the answers and the next step is phase plot so here we have to write an expression so the expression is an omega which lies in denominator contributes 90 degree and here it should be written as tan inverse of imaginary coefficient divided by real term so here this omega contributes 90 and here tan inverse of 0.33 omega by 1 and here tan inverse of 0.167 omega by 1. Since these three terms lies in the denominator, we are going to shift these three terms to the numerator. So a minus is included before all the terms, right? And here again, consider all the omega values we, we used in the uh, magnitude plot. So, you can include in between values and higher values as well. So, just substitute the values of omega over there and find the value of the phase angle. Right. So, the next one is finding the phase margin of the uncompensated system. So, before to proceed that, we have to go to our semi-log sheet and we have to find the phase margin over there. See this is our semi-log sheet and x-axis stands for frequencies omega in radian per second and y-axis this side stands for magnitude so here you can write magnitude in decibel and here again this y-axis stands for the phase angle so here it is phase angle in degrees right so after um, elaborating the scale in our semi-log sheet the next thing is we have to draw the magnitude plot and phase plot so it is mandatory to highlight the zero decibel line right and these are all the different points for magnitude plot right i hope you people are familiar how to draw magnitude plot if not again go back refer to the section of bode plot right so check out for some one or two problems you will have a clear idea if i explain each and every step already the problem is quite bigger so i don't want to waste my time over here right so here these are all the points for magnitude plot and this is the point for phase plot so in magnitude plot we have to join the dots using a scale so you see this is our magnitude plot and this is our phase plot right now we are going to find the phase margin for this uncompensated system so how to find the phase margin you see our magnitude plot intersects the 0 db line at a particular point right so from this point just draw a line it will meet our phase plot at some point so at that point you just measure the respective angle right so you see i had drawn a line from this crossing point towards our phase plot and this line meets at a particular point here when you just measure the angle the angle is found out to be minus 226 degrees right so from the Bode plot the value of pi gc is found to be minus 226 
So ju just substitute in this expression and the value of phase margin is found out to be minus 46 degrees. Right. But what is the expected phase margin? Here the expected phase margin is greater than or equal to 35 degrees. But here the actual phase margin what we get is minus 46. Right. This shows that the system is unstable because whenever the phase margin or gain margin are negative, either even if either one is negative then the system is unstable. Right. So now we are moving to the design of a lag lead compensator. So choose a new phase margin. So the phase margin of the compensated system is given by gamma n equal to gamma desired plus epsilon. Right. So here initially the value of epsilon is considered as 5 degrees and here the value of gamma n is equal to here this is our desired value it is 35 degrees which is given in the problem. Right. So 35 plus 5 gives you 40 degrees. Now determine the new gain crossover gain crossover frequency so here the gamma n is 180 degree plus pi gcn so here pi gcn is given as gamma n minus 180 so here the value of gamma n is it is 40 degrees so 40 minus 180 gives you minus 140 degrees now we are again going to move back to our semi log sheet you see the angle value is minus 140 degrees right so this is our minus 140 degree line when you just go with this line you see it it will meet our phase plot at a particular point so at this point just when you measure the frequency its value is exactly equal to 1.8 radian per second right so here the value that is the frequency corresponding to minus 140 degree is 1.8 radian per second right now we are selecting a new value that is omega gcl is nothing but gain crossover frequency of the lag compensator so this omega gcl should be greater than our omega gcn so here we are selecting a value of 4 radian per second the next step is calculating beta of the lag compensator so again here from the Bode plot the db magnitude at omega gcl that is here we had selected the value of omega gcl as 4 radian per second so at this frequency we are going to measure what is the respect to magnitude so just now we had selected the value of omega gcl as 4 right so here 1 2 3 4 okay this is the 4 radian per second so when you move up gradually it is meeting our phase plot at this particular point right so when you measure the respect to magnitude using a scale it is equal to 23 decibels right that is it lies here so here the value is 23 db right am i making the things clear you see the omega gcl value is 4 right so here here lies our 4 this is our 4 radian per second so when you move gradually upwards it is meeting our magnitude plot at a particular point at this point you just measure the magnitude whose value is 23 db right so to find our beta the formula is a GCL is 23 dB. This is from the Bode plot. Right. So 20 log beta is equal to 23. So beta is 10 to the power A GCL by 20. That is 10 to the power 23 by 20 which is nothing but 14. Right. Now we are going to find the transfer function of lag section. So here the zero of lag compensator is given by this expression. Minus 1 by T1 is equal to omega GCL by 10. So when you rewrite the expression T1 is written as 10 by omega GCL. We know the value of omega GCL so just substitute it and the value of T is 2.5. The next one is pole of lag compensator so that is given by the expression 1 by beta T1. So here just substitute the value of beta and T1. So that's it. Now we can write the transfer function of the lag section. We know the value of T1 and we know the value of beta. So just substitute it over here and finally this is the transfer function of lag section. The next one is step 8 finding the transfer function of lead section. So here again the value of alpha is reciprocal of beta. So just calculate alpha. And again we need decibel gain 
that is we need gain in terms of db therefore it is given by minus 20 log 1 by square root of alpha just substitute the value and find out the expression sorry find out the value for magnitude so then again you see the frequency corresponding to minus 12 db is 17 radian per second again we have to go back to the Bode plot here so you see the value is minus 12 db right so here this is our minus 12 db so just when you go with this it meets our magnitude plot at a particular point so when you measure the frequency over there the value of frequency is that is here at this point it is 17 radian per second right so so here the value is 17 radian per second so the value of omega and m is 17 so to find t2 just substitute the value of omega m and alpha and again the transfer function of lead section we have this formula we know the value of alpha and as well as t2 so just substitute it over here right and the next step is finding the transfer function of lag lead compensator so here the two compensators are connected in series right so therefore just we need to multiply those two values so when you multiply finally this is our transfer function and finding the open loop transfer function of compensated system so here this is the given transfer function and this is the transfer function of lag lead compensator we are introducing compensators always in series with the transfer function so here again these two elements are connected in series so just we need to multiply these two block elements so when you multiply this is the open loop transfer function of the compensator system right so let me wind up the video with this because the second part is quite bigger we have to draw the Bode plot for this transfer function okay this is quite bigger so let me continue this as part 2 in the next video. I hope you people understand the concept well. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.